Hi everyone, it's Terry here. How are you doing today? So today is June 13th. It is a Tuesday and it's rainy and sunny and mild out. Kind of a mixed weather forecast, but we desperately need the rain. So what I have for you today is a what's on my desk. And it's very, very overloaded with stuff. Uh, I haven't really worked on it since I got back. Although I did have it cleaned off for about a day. And I started doing organizing and decluttering. And I guess the best solution at the time, I thought, was to put it on my desk. <laughs> so anyway, now I have it on my desk and I have to put it away or give it away or throw it away. So I thought while I'm doing that, I would bring it along and show you what's on my desk. So I'm going to move it to that other, that handy dandy overhead camera holder or phone holder, and it'd be a lot easier for everybody concerned. All right, my friends, I am back. Here we go. So I have this box, as you can see, it's an Amazon box. It arrived last week and it had a few things in it. Okay, so in the box I have, I have some, some glue tape from Dollar Tree. So I'm using this for uh, something I'm decorating. So in about three weeks, it's Canada Day here. So Canada Day is celebrate Canada becoming a country. Anyway, I'm going to use this for decorating and then we can put it in some plants outside. I only need one. And then I have these two wall stickers that I got from Dollar Tree. And then I got this one. One of the things I'm doing, I've, uh, in our front entrance way, we have a series of frames. So the first set of pictures in the first frame is all my mom's grandchildren. Then the next set is all my grandchildren. Then the next frame is all my mom's great grandchildren. And then the next is all the grandchildren with their family. So I had them all in black frames, but the black frames just, I just wasn't happy, satisfied with them. So I've been slowly changing them to white frames. And so the the white frame I'm working on now is my mom's great-grandchildren. And the frame is a bit smaller but holds more pictures because she has more grandchildren now, great-grandchildren. So I thought what I'd do is put like something like this at the top of it. I really wish they had something that said family on it. Um, so I thought I'd just cover up the old picture frame holes with this because I don't have any paint left in that color. So we'll see how it works. Um, and then I don't know if I'll use these for the wall, but I thought uh, I might just disperse these in a couple spots on the wall. It's just an idea in my head whether I actually keep it up that way or not. I don't know. Okay, and then I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a little shelf to put on your wall, but I'm not putting it on my wall. I'm, I'm putting it on a shelf and then putting little things on top. And then what else is in the bag? I think that's it. Yep, that's it in the Dollar Tree bag. So the box is going down here. All right. Can you believe this mess? Okay. Let me start. With this, I bought a big package of travel Kleenex for my trip. Let me see. This paintbrush. These are for my postcard binder. These are bows for a shower present. So my daughter-in-law is expecting in August their first child. So these are to go on the gift. Not this one because we don't know the gender. This was for something else but this one is probably going to go on the shower that we're having for her in a couple weeks 
and then handy dandy flashlight. They're good to have on hand. And these are just a couple pouches that I got from Dollar Tree. I bought them for my trip. I thought they would hold something, but I didn't end up using them. But they're pretty handy. They're waterproof. I can wash them. So I think they'll be good for to pack something else in it. Um, so I bought this postcard just today from Canada Post. It's a prepaid postage card, postcard. And there is a guy in Germany. Oh, man, I can't think of his name. Anyway, he likes to collect uh, postpaid postcards. And I've sent him one or two. And he likes the ones that have this logo on it. So I found one at the post office today. So I thought I'd send it to him. This is the restaurant we ate at in, well, one of the restaurants we ate in France. It was really good. Yeah, it was like a five-course meal. And one of the courses was a cheese board, which I've never had before. It was really good. Um, and this is um, happy birthday. My oldest daughter's birthday was June 2nd. And I had a dinner for her and her family last Wednesday. So that's going to go in my scrapbook probably. Some bags that my mother lent me for my trip that I didn't end up using. This is laminating, self-laminating sheets. And I don't know why I bought them, but I haven't used them. And I've had these for a couple years. So this is one of the things that's going into the donation bin. These are my microphones and audio cables that I have. Um, a charging block so they go in my drawer uh, I bought this in England it is a it says it's a sharpener but I bought it because it's a mailbox I haven't taken it out yet let me anyway that's it it's pretty heavy okay what else these are just wipes for they're just always handy to have wipes on hand this was from my tour so when we were going from england to france we had to put these on our suitcases and then they picked them up put them in the bus on the bus so i was 29 and then anyone that's been watching my instagram page will recognize this guy this is benny he was our traveling companion. So the reason we got him is because my sister's oldest grandson was kind of worried about her being away so long. So my daughter said, why don't you get something? She meant like a little toy figurine or something, I think. And she said, why don't you get something? And then put it in front of something or next to something and then send it to him to show him that you're okay and what you've been doing. And I forgot to mention that tour while we were at our house. So when we were in the Toronto airport, I bought this little guy. We named him Benny. So he's going to be our travel companion. We are planning another trip. We are planning on going on to another trip. We're not 100% sure where, but I I want to go I want to see Canada, more of Canada. So there's a Via Railroad tour train that takes you through from B BC, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and I think Manitoba. I'm not 100% sure. So I think that might be our next trip. So he's going to come with us. It's just something silly, but it's kind of fun too. Okay, so this is a bag. From England, obviously, um, from souvenirs that we bought when we had a day on, on our, an afternoon on our own. And then this is a frame. So, again, on that same wall, I have a family picture 
of my whole family, all 33 of us, or 32 of us, and I want to enlarge it and put in this and put it on there. Next year, there's going to be two more babies. So there'll be, so I think we're 34 with everybody together. We're going to go to 36. Okay. And then this is a bag that our, our tour guide gave us. It was on Trafalgar Tours. There's some souvenirs in here that I haven't distributed yet. So I don't think I'm going to show them. Okay, so what's what do we have now? So this is this is what I bought in Paris for my shelf. Let me see. These are my sleep masks. And this is some wet naps I bought for the trip, and I haven't used them all. Let me see. I'm almost done. So I bought these today. I'll put them on a, another video because I bought, I have a lot that I haven't shown you of what I bought recently. So these are the newest stamps. They just came out a week ago, I think. And I'm not sure when these came out. Looks like 2020. So these are medical groundbreakers. Let me see what else do I have here. So I bought this. Tower Bridge die cast because our hotel was called a tower and this bridge was right outside our hotel. So we could see it from where we were. I did this out. My daughter Brittany gave this to me for Mother's Day, but it's obviously I did not mean it to be on a full page. So I'm going to print it again, put it in my book. And other than these which i showed you on my last video which by the way has had a lot of views just since i put it up probably one of the fastest ones i've had so i love that keep viewing people anyway so these are for another video so it wasn't once you got rid of the big things it wasn't that bad so for now, I will say goodbye. I hope you have a wonderful night. Look for the next video, which is going to be stamps. So I think it's going to be this one. Anyway, my friends, I am going to go. I hope you have a wonderful night. And thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone that has subscribed to my channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying to the end if you did. Just hit the thumbs up icon. Yay! And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I will let you go. Have a wonderful night. Talk to you later. Bye now.